Good morning, friends, and welcome to Morning Prayer and Mass here on Thursday in the second week of Eastertide. We are in the third week of the Psalter. We begin on page 580 with hymn number, uh, with him, the Father's glory, Christ our light, with love and mercy comes to span. And our scripture and so forth is on page 252. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, open our lips and we shall praise your name. The Lord has truly risen. Alleluia. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks with songs. Let us hail the Lord. A mighty God is the Lord, a great king above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Though that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray, these people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has truly risen. Alleluia. The Father's glory, Christ our light, with love and mercy comes to span. The vast abyss of sin between the God of holiness and man. Christ yesterday and Christ today, for all eternity the same. The image of our hidden God, eternal wisdom is his name. He keeps his word from age to age, is with us to the end of days. A cloud by day, a flame by night, to go before us on his ways. We bless you, Father, fount of light, and Christ, your well-beloved Son, who with a spirit dwell in us, immortal trinity in one. We will dance and sing. You are the source of our life and our joy, city of God. Alleluia. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Philistria, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children. And Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, These are her children, and while they dance they will sing. In you all find their home. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We will dance and sing. You are the source of our life and our joy, city of God. Alleluia. He will tend his flock like a shepherd and carry them in his arms. Alleluia. Behold, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms, and he will carry them in his bosom, and gently lead those that are with young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and marked off the heavens with a span, enclosed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountain in scales, and the hills in a balance. Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or as his counsellor has instructed him, whom did he consult for his enlightenment, and who taught him the path of justice, taught him knowledge, and showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are like a drop from a bucket, and are accounted as the dust on the scales. Behold, he takes up the isles, like fine dust. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, 
nor are its beasts enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are unaccounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He will tend his flock like a shepherd, and carry them in his arms. Alleluia. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme above all peoples. Alleluia. The Lord is king. The peoples tremble. He is throned on the cherubim. The earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name were Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will. They kept the law, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives, yet you punished all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord is our God, and he is holy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme above all peoples. Alleluia. We turn to page 252. If Christ lives in you, then although the body be a dead thing in virtue of our guilt, the spirit is a living thing by virtue of our justification. And if the spirit of him who raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised up Jesus Christ from the dead will give life to your perishable bodies too, for the sake of his spirit who dwells in you. The Lord has risen from the dead, alleluia, alleluia. For our sake he died on the cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I tell you solemnly, everyone who believes in me has eternal life, alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I tell you solemnly, everyone who believes in me has eternal life. Alleluia. Let us offer our prayer to Christ, who rose from the dead and is living always in his church. Lord, you triumphed over sin and death. Be present in our midst with your eternal life. Come to us with your untiring strength and reveal in our lives the loving kindness of God. You alone can reconcile men and create a new spirit within them, end the conflicts which divide our world. Deepen our faith in your final victory. Let us find strength in the hope of your coming. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, make our hearts more open to your love in these days of Eastertide, when you have made known to us the depth of that love. You have rescued us from the darkness of error. Make us adhere more firmly to the teachings of your truth. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Mass will follow in about five minutes.
morning, Shirley. O oh God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Morning, everybody. It's nice today, isn't it? It's going to get up to 21 degrees. So we shall be out doing gardening, I'm sure. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our own sins and transgressions. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please sit. Our first reading this morning is from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Be ready to set out at noon along the road that goes from Jerusalem down to Gaza, the desert road. So he set off on his journey. Now it happened that an Ethiopian had been on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. He was a eunuch and an officer at the court of Kandaki, or Queen of Ethiopia, and was in fact her chief treasurer. He was now on his way home, and as he sat in the chariot he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go up and meet the chariot. When Philip ran up, he heard him reading Isaiah, the prophet, and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? How can I, he replied, unless I have someone to guide me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit by his side. Now the passage of scripture he was reading was this. Like a sheep that is led to the slaughterhouse, like a lamb that is dumb in front of its shearers, like these he never opens his mouth, he has been humiliated and has no one to defend him. Who will ever talk about his descendants, since his life on earth has been cut short? The eunuch turned to Philip and said, Tell me, is the prophet referring to himself or someone else? Starting therefore with this text of scripture, Philip proceeded to explain the good news of Jesus to him. Further along the road they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is some water here. Is there anything to stop me being baptized? He ordered the chariot to stop. Then Philip and the eunuch both went down to the water, and Philip baptized him. But after they had come up out of the water again, Philip was taken away by the Spirit of the Lord, and the eunuch never saw him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Philip found that he had reached Azotus and continued his journey, proclaiming the good news in every town as far as Caesarea, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cry out with joy to the God, all the earth. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud, with high praise ready on my tongue. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Blessed be God, who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold his love from me. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. 
Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord who hung for us upon the tree has risen from the tomb. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowd, No one can come to me unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They will all be taught by God and to hear the teaching of the Father and learn from it, is to come to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who comes from God. He has seen the Father. I tell you most solemnly, everyone who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the desert, and they are dead. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that a man may eat it and not die. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I shall give is the flesh of, for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please sit. <coughs> It's a really interesting line at the start of this gospel. No one can come to me unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me. And we often think that when we are out and about, we're talking about God and we want people to, to come to church, we want people to come and know God, we, we can sometimes fall into the trap of thinking it's us that's doing the, it's, it's us that's converting people, it's bringing people to God, it's baptizing them. But of course it's not. It's the invitation of the Holy Spirit. And so when I talk a lot about running behind the Holy Spirit. That's the kind of thing that I mean. And, and it's outlined exactly here in Acts with Philip and the man from Ethiopia. He, he heard what the, Philip, what the Holy Spirit was saying to him. He followed up with it. God had invited the Ethiopian to know more about his son. And Philip was there and responded to it. Our job is not to be out front uh, saying we're going to go this way and then praying that the Holy Spirit will follow us. Our job is to listen to the Holy Spirit and to follow behind the Holy Spirit. It's like putting the horse behind the cart. You've got to do it in the right order because it's the work of the Holy Spirit that we're trying to do. We're not trying to do our own work and then praying for the Holy Spirit to bless it. That's what we're trying to do with the mission priest and that's what we're praying that when people start applying for the job, it'll go out tomorrow, that people will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and follow it, rather than seeing the job and thinking, oh, that looks like a good job, now I'll pray that the Holy Spirit will come with me. It's a uh, interesting but important difference, which is why we have to be able to hear the Holy Spirit when he speaks to us. And of course, we do that by coming to church every day, by praying when we are at home, by calling to mind the hymn that fills us as we are walking down the street and being open to that prompting. Amen. Sorry, I could have said. There's a phrase in our advert that we put out there, we call this holy loitering. And the idea is that, pe uh, that the person will come, if they've got nothing else to do, if they find themselves twiddling their thumbs, they'll walk around town, like I do, in Cassock, and just kind of hang around to see what it is the Holy Spirit wants them to do, or to just sit there so that people can respond to them. And I've just been thinking as I preach that sermon, there's another holy thing that we can do, that we can all do, holy daydreaming. We should all holy daydream, <laughs> where we just let our minds wander, where we're sat at home, just let our mind wander and just listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying to us. Holy daydreaming. I'm going to put that in the next job advert. My brothers and sisters, let us open our minds to God's invitation now in prayer. We pray for the church and for our leaders, for Pope Francis and for Bartholomew, the ecumenical patriarch, for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, and we pray that in their busyness, in all of the things that are expected of them, they find time 
for holy daydreaming. We pray for Bishop Sarah, for Bishop Luther, and for our Bishop Jonathan. And again, we pray that they have the space to hear the call of the Holy Spirit in their life. We pray for this parish, and as we advertise for a new priest, that we are open to hearing what the Holy Spirit is saying to us about those who he sends. We pray today for the area dean, Richard Young, and on the SSC prayer calendar for the fifth of the month, I ask you to please pray for me. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the sick and the lonely, for those in any sort of pain, for all of those who've asked us to pray for them, for Helen Holman and Yolanda de Gale, Wayne Campbell, Anthony Gleeter and family, Norma Pigger, H and family, Mavis Sidney, Kevin Riley and family, Pauline Job, Gemma, Val Jones, Father John Metivier and family, Rita Ford, and Father Michael Beckford. Lord, in your mercy, We pray for the souls of the departed, for those who've died this night without access to priest or sacrament, for those who've died around the world proclaiming your holy name, for those torn from the womb, and for those whose anniversary of death falls today. For Samuel Swire, Richard Burkett Abel, and David Charles Turnbull, rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let life perpetual shine upon them. We pray for Her Majesty the Queen, for all in authority under her. We pray that we are quietly and godly governed. We pray for peace in the world, for understanding and for love, for the ability to sit quietly and hear what you call us to do. Lord, in your mercy, and we turn to Our Lady, Queen of Peace, and we ask her to pray for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to acclaim you, O Lord but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. 
He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Justin our Archbishop, Jonathan our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who comes to take away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe in eternal life. Amen. May the blood of Christ keep me safe in eternal life. Amen. To all of our dear friends watching online, turn now to Jesus and to make your spiritual communion. Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to our people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we are back together again now tomorrow. No evening prayer this evening, but we're back again tomorrow for morning prayer and Mass at the same time, 9.45 for morning prayer and 10 o'clock for Mass. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, come down on you today and remain with you always. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. 